time. All right, we switch things over now to the federal capital territory and the uh, inflationary figures as far as cost of living uh, is concerned uh, and how restaurants are able to cope with this high cost of living. It seems like most of them are having to uh, deal or rather use a strategy of shrinkflation where they're reducing the quantity of food that they are serving uh, on tables to their residents. Yeah, there's, so we're going to be talking to uh, one of the players uh, in the sector, uh, Kayla Bassi, who is the general manager at uh, the Le Lepicure Garden? Lepicure, yes. Le indeed. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. Good morning uh, to you. We're at the end of the year. How would you describe your business flow for 2023? How has it been? Be as honest as possible. <laughs> Certainly. Um, the Garden at Lepicure officially opened in February 2023. But so far, so good. We have seen increase in sale month on month. And um, I would say we're doing great as a business. Mm. But as far as the costs uh, are concerned, in terms of the cost of doing business, and particularly the cost of food, um, how have you managed that in terms of how your, your strategy of dealing with that cost? Um, so we're not exempted with the uh, impact of the economic uh, situation in the country. But uh, we're able to, you know, um, stay afloat and, you know, gain some profits, averagely, you know, yeah. Have you had to lay off any um, staff uh, in terms of having to, um, your strategy for lowering costs? Um, no, we haven't had to lay off any staff. Rather, we increased our salaries twice. Hey, yeah. okay. Yeah, twice. Just All so right. That, so that the staff would be able to, you know, flow in line with the transportation uh, situation in the country. Even we also had to reschedule our um, roasters for the people living together to be able to go home together so it could cut down the cost for them to, you know, transport themselves back home. Although, sadly, some had to resign yeah. so they could work um, in places closer to where they live mm. just to save transportation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Now, look. I have to ask you about power um, because, in fact, we, we have a, a special on electricity subsidies, which we're looking at for the year 2023 in Nigeria. Okay. Diesel is over a thousand. Um, how have you been managing that in terms of the power side of things? Well, this uh, period, uh, power supply has been great for us. Okay. W won't lie. Yeah. So um, looking into 2024, we are hopeful that the president would, you know, do something for us they they already favored us by taking out vats from gas right yeah so we're hopeful that um, something comes up for us in 2024 okay now um i have a short story here a a hotel which i will not name uh i believe it's in the uh, baitama area has banned food from outside going in is it do you, now i you know uh, is that happening because of the cost of food is so high that they want to protect their own restaurant indoor? Have you heard of any such thing? Is this, is this a new strategy that, that certain hotels are, are... So imagine if I went to eat at the Garden at Lepicure now, they wouldn't, they wouldn't let me bring your food into my, into my hotel. So wh why are they doing that? Is this, is this, a, is this a cost thing? What, what so, comes to mind? So things are actually really bad. Yeah. The economy now is actually bad, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. So you, it's, um, if I had a hotel... I will probably do that. You w what? Yes, with the economy now, with the economy situation now, yeah. cost, cost, cost of um, raw materials for food yeah. has tripled, yeah. not doubled though, right. in fact, tripled. Right. It's really high. So, I you know, we were trying to, uh, our aim is to get um, long-term um, customer loyalty. Yeah. So, um, we're not trying to reduce our standard or anything. Mm. So, we are trying to stay afloat regardless. So, you're not reducing your portions of food? No, so we're not. Place no, we of didn't. rice at... Garden at Lepico is the same size it was today in exactly. December as it was in February when exactly you opened. Exactly the same size. I might come and check it out taste. and take pictures yes, and, you should. and make sure. Um, it's the festive season. Um, what kind of traffic are you expecting? Uh, you know, I guess, uh, I know it, mm. in terms of foot traffic. Yeah, you know, this Christmas period can be very uh, competitive. Yeah. Um, a lot of people are traveling abroad to their family, to their wives, their girlfriends, their boyfriends, you know, entirely. Everyone is leaving their place of um, work or whatever, going back home to the village and all of that. So it's, it's, it's kind of dicey because um, we won't really get as much as 
we usually do because everyone is traveling. Mm. So um, what, although we've had to do, we've had to organize some events, um, sip and paint, we have a Christmas movie coming up um, before Christmas, but we would have to shut down so that our staff also can benefit from this. So they would have to go home to spend time as well to, with their loved ones as well. Yeah, mm. so we're gonna shut down and open. What are what are there. peak seasons for restaurants? Is it Christmas, Valentine's Day, Easter? What what are the peak seasons? So um, peak seasons, I would say, uh, I think will fall more in um, during the Valentine because yeah, yeah. Um, Christmas, you know, everyone has to travel and all that. Right, right. And then uh, also, um, any public holiday that falls within the weekend is always a peak season. Yeah, you know, yeah. like um, ending of Ramadan, mm. um, you know, and uh, Valentine too. Any. Yeah. Public holiday that falls towards the weekend. It's usually picks in well um, between November until uh, February. Yeah. It's usually our peak season. All right. So you're yeah. so I guess you're, you're you're gearing up. How we're asking everybody how are you are looking forward to 2024. Um, we just had Dr. Ayo Teriba before you know asking him giving his take as an economist. You are as important as he is because you are a business uh, in the economy. How are you looking forward to the new year? We're very optimistic. Was we're very optimistic. Like I said earlier, we're hopeful that 2024 favors us, you know, the economic situation and all of that. And we hope that our president favors us too. All right, all right. Uh, Kayla Bassi, General Manager at the Garden at Lapicure, thank you so much for speaking to us at the Global Business Report uh, on Arise TV. Appreciate your time.